Hi, welcome to our MicroRaiden Paywall demo. MicroRaiden is a scalable, low-cost and low-latency solution for carrying out micropayments on the Ethereum blockchain. In this tutorial, you will learn how to open a channel with a service provider, make a micropayment, top up the channel deposit, and close a channel. Because it is such a great source of content, we are using Wikipedia for this demo to show you how our MicroRaiden paywall works. Not that we would actually like to live in such a world. So let's see what happens when we want to access an article. We are prompted to pay one token, but we first have to be logged in with either MetaMask or Parity, or we can use MIST to view the DAP. In this case, we have MetaMask installed and we are going to log in. Let's open a channel for a deposit of two escrowed tokens. MicroRaiden has full support for ERC20 compatible tokens. This is an on chain transaction and we have to wait until the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain. This demo is run on a test net, so expect longer confirmation times when using the main net. After the channel is open, we can see that our remaining balance is two. A transaction of one token is initiated, and we have to sign the details of this transaction. Note the balance value. This is the total number of tokens that we owe the provider. Because this is the first time we purchase something within the channel, the balance is the actual value of the purchase, one token. We sign the balance status, which acts as a proof of the current channel status, and we are given access to the desired article. Let's access another article. And we see that now our remaining balance is one token. Again, we are prompted to sign the current balance status of our channel, which will be two tokens, because this is the second purchase that we make. These micropayments have no transaction cost attached to them, as opposed to the on-chain transactions where you have an added gas cost. So we have opened a channel with two tokens as an escrow deposit we have paid for and viewed two articles. Our current channel balance is two and our remaining balance should be zero. What happens if we want to view yet another article? We can deposit more tokens. So let's deposit another three tokens. Again, this is an on-chain transaction. We can see that our remaining balance is now 3, and we can pay for the article. This is our third purchase, so the channel balance is 3. Now let's see what happens if we want to close our payment channel with this service provider. We close the micropayment confirmation window. If the balance status is agreed upon by both client and provider, the channel is closed immediately with an on-chain transaction. We can see that the status of the channel is now settled. This means the service provider has received his tokens and we have received any surplus of tokens that we have escrowed but did not consume. We can now forget the channel so that we don't have to see it anymore. And we are back to the phase where we can create a new channel with this provider. You have seen now how to use MicroRaiden for opening, topping up and closing a channel with a service provider, as well as how to make purchases using off-chain micropayments with ERC20 compatible tokens. Open for anyone to implement, MicroRaiden will enable a platform agnostic payment network for easy access and monetization of any online content. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more MicroRaiden and Raiden Network content.